Hi, I'm Dustin, and I'm a developer experience engineer working on ZK Sync. This is your update on the latest and greatest developer improvements from the ZK Sync developer community. Please make sure to check the description below for all the links of the topics mentioned today. Now let's get started. Starting with the ZK Sync hardhat ecosystem, we've listened to the frustrations of developers having to install a collection of plugins in order to compile, deploy, verify, upgrade, and test, while also consciously thinking about the ordering of these plugins. Well, hardhat ZK Sync plugin officially lands, which consolidates the series of plugins into one simplified experience. One install, one import, and now you can compile, deploy, verify, upgrade, and test your project. To get started, simply install the NPM package and import it into your Hardhat configuration file, and you'll get access to all these plugins. The Hardhat ZK Sync plugin supports both Ethers v5 and v6. On ZK Sync, there is native account abstraction. Native account abstraction fundamentally changes how accounts operate by introducing the concept of smart accounts. Smart accounts are fully programmable, allowing for various customizations such as signature schemes and native multi-sync capabilities. To simplify the experience of interacting with these smart accounts, with using ZK Sync Ethers SDK, we've introduced a smart account class. This class is designed to provide better support for your AA implementation. Common implementations like single ECVSA signing and multi-sig are now provided as utility classes for developer convenience. When interacting with a multi-sig account with what once took almost 25 lines, now only takes about five lines. To start leveraging the smart account class for your project, be sure to check out the developer documentation. The number one feature request among ZK Sync developers is Foundry support. We are actively working very hard to deliver the Foundry experience ZK Sync developers deserve. We are happy to announce our version two alpha release of our Foundry fork. In this version, ZK Sync developers benefit from having full logging support. It is now easier than ever to debug tests by leveraging Foundry's verbose tracing features. We've re-architected our approach so ZK Sync developers can benefit from all the cheat codes that Upstream Foundry provides, ensuring your ZK Sync project is adequately covered and secured. We are very much aware of delivering a seamless Foundry experience for ZK Sync developers. That is why we're very excited to share upcoming compiler improvements and more support for Foundry features in the next developer update. To try out the latest Foundry ZK Sync changes, be sure to check out the quick install guide on the repos readme. If you encounter a bug that we still haven't fixed, be sure to upvote the GitHub issue or create a new one. That being said, we are actively working with the Foundry maintainers and the community to add ZK Sync support for upstream Foundry. If you want to show your support to make this happen, be sure to comment on the feature request issue. The heart of development has always been the developer documentation. We've initiated a long-term commitment to reimagine the developer experience. That's why we're excited to introduce our new developer documentation site. The new documentation site has been built with maintainability in mind and provides a major enhancement to the developer onboarding experience. Whether you're new to Web3, ZK Sync, or contract development, we have guided material to make you the most productive ZK Sync developer in the shortest time possible. Head to the doc site today to join the best developer community in all of Web3 and look forward to a continued investment in reimagining the developer documentation experience. ZK Sync is supported by the best tooling projects in all of Web3, and we wanted a dedicated space to showcase and educate developers on the available tooling. Introducing the new community code space, where developers can experience a guided path for integrating and using the best libraries and tooling on ZK Sync. Community code spaces offers everything from in-depth tutorials on native account abstraction or custom paymasters to the third-party services like the Graph, Wallet Connect, or even Alchemy's new RPC support for ZK Sync. The best part is community code is a place for everybody to contribute to. If you're a third-party service, be sure to add your ZK Sync guide. Or if you developed a new use case for paymasters, be sure to open a PR so that the whole community can benefit from your expertise. We are eager to work with the community to deliver the best guides, how-tos, and tutorials. Make sure to check out the GitHub repo to get started. We are fueled by passion to deliver a developer experience that is exceptional without exceptions. The community of ZK Sync developers has worked incredibly hard to deliver incremental improvements to the developer experience, and we're only just getting started. Collectively, we never want an experience to be described with, it's good, but, 
And that is what motivates this community to relentlessly pursue an exceptional experience without exceptions. If you're not involved, I encourage you today to go check out our docs, join our community channels, and start contributing to the ZK Sync developer mission. And if you wanna join the Matter Labs team, be sure to check out our careers page. We are hiring for a variety of positions, including developer experience engineers. Be a part of the mission to accelerate the mass adoption of crypto personal sovereignty today. To learn more about all these developer improvements, make sure to check the description box below for all the links covering today's topics. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Dustin, and I look forward to sharing the next update with you.